life. Life is a brief intermission between birth and death. There's really no word to describe the blow that comes in the rare moments when I realize that you're no more. I'll miss you. Oh, I will miss you more than the words that I say could ever describe. But I look forward to seeing you in the land that is fairer than the day. So you bought me off for lunch today, right? You need a lunch. You don't have a wife. <laughs> what did <laughs> that mean if you're free lunch? Well, it's a wife in a restaurant everywhere. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Now listen to me. Rosa. I do not presume to meddle in your affairs. Okay. But I see no reason why you refuse to settle down. Why can't you just get a wife? Please, come on. Uh, Valerie, come on, don't start this. Please. What is it? Don't don't start. You took us though I don't want to get married. Ha! Ah, the girl I wanted to marry, right? You said no to her because she's what? She's Jamaican? But guess what? I'm still going to marry her regardless. Oh, sorry, because you cannot marry her. Why? At times I sit and I begin to wonder what, what is exactly wrong with you. Tell me, we have a thousand and one girls out there. Oh, really? A thousand and one girls out there? The same number of girls that hop from bed to bed? Or the same girls that really stay at home and expect the, the husband to go outside and get money for them to oh, feed shut and up. get fat? Just shut up! Is that what you think? Oh, yes! Is that what you think about me too, your sister? No! You would in a million. So why don't you just believe there are still other good girls out there, especially in the city of ours? The city of ours? The same city that I saw them girls outside standing from day to day looking for a guy that's rich to take good care of them and their family? Now let's talk about it. You're talking about those girls hoping from one bed to another, they'll be getting money or whatever. You still patronize them because if you're married, you won't patronize them. Well... So please, stop these excuses and just get married. Get one. <laughs> You, you know what, can we, can we just change the topic and enjoy this meal? It's, it's getting cold. And that is what I get each time I try to bring this up. Would you, you blame come me? up with this bad attitude of yours. Where well, you can eat. Thank you. And you still need a wife. Seriously. You know what, I've, I've lost my appetite to eat. <laughs> you are so stupid. Yes. Come on, pick your spoon and eat. You're acting up like you have a food in your house. You're a bachelor for crying out loud. Well, you, have to, you have to rub it in. Why not? I love you, my brother. So <laughs> I love you too, but please stop saying this all the time. It's not like a nursery rhyme right now. You're so silly. Don't mention. Get up. Mm. I set the alarm because I know you would definitely wake up late. Mm. Why? Mm. Why? Do you even need to ask, Fred? The entire house is in a mess. And we need a good meal in this house. Or have you forgotten? My brother is coming home with his fiance, so you need to get busy. Yeah. That's true. I'll just uh, get up. Get up. Oh. Are you still here? Then get going. Whoever said is a man's word. This thought has been running through my mind all day. What does it have to be this way? What does it have to be this way? I thought they said it was a man. World. Crazy, crazy, say yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm in pain, so oh, the shame. Oh, got me thinking so confused. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I'm in pain, so. I'm so confused, I'm so confused. 
Welcome. Ah, thank you. Um, she's she's right inside. Okay. Yes. She, uh, she's inside. All right. Yeah. This is like first impression. So, All right. yeah. well, you're good. I got you. Okay. <laughs> oh, nice place. Oh yeah. My sister, she's um always coming up with stuff, and you know, she's being like that. You need to come out here, girl. I I've oh, missed I you. Care. You don't need to look for me. Oh. You can help those babies. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, you are looking so beautiful. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Thank you. <laughs> like you're not. Oh, please. <laughs> Tell me, what was bringing up those feminine craze? Man, you don't see. Uh, Where are you, Wakago, Seth? Wakago. <laughs> I've been globe trotting, okay? I've been globe trotting all over the place with my man, if I may add. It's good to have a good man. It's good to have a good man. What can I say? 
Mm -hmm. eh? Yes, ma'am. So you practically went out of sin for two to three weeks mm -hmm. for globe trotting. You know, try. Oh. Forget say me again. I'm babe. sorry now. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. It's about marriage. Look, I'm trying to take care of the home front, you know? <laughs> But hey, I just got back not too long ago. I thought, okay, I'll rest a bit before I come see you. And then you call me to tell me Sly is bringing home his fiance. Sly is getting married. Seriously, <laughs> are you not happy for me? I am incredibly happy. My for prince you. charming decided to bring his fiance home today. Right? And trust me, you were the first person I called. Oh, <laughs> but wait. Mm. Babe. Meanwhile, while you were getting me a drink, Fred went upstairs. But when I got here, I saw him washing cars. What's that about? Oh, that. Please tell me, how was the much talked about honeymoon with your hobby? Oh, well, the honeymoon was fantastic. It was wonderful. Can't you tell? It is so obvious. Man, marriage is really lacking good. It's really making you happy. Marriage doesn't make one look good, honey. Marriage doesn't make you happy. To me, look, here's my take on it. Marriage to me is like a rose garden or a tree. You tend it, you put water, you take out all the dead weeds. And by nurturing it, it blooms. The roses bloom, the fruits come out. It gives you what you give it. Thank Loving you. kindness. Like, thank you. And enough of all this, your marriage counseling. Uh, I didn't preach, Abby. This one don't pass preaching. It's in happen. For only three weeks. I mean, hold on. Let me go check on Fred upstairs. I will be with you. Okay. You see, sir. Don't blame me. I am not. Come on. Man, you look good, though. I'm in love. Excuse me? Oh, what is this? Oh, Izzy, what, what, what's going on? What is this? What do you mean, what is this? This, this is my shirt. Are you in any way planning to wear this today? What is wrong with this? What is wrong with what? You call this clothes? To start with, I bought this with my money, not so? Yeah. <laughs> I see. You really want to embarrass me before my in law not so? Look, Valerie, Valerie this, these things are all vanity, all right? Since when the clothes become a prerequisite to show wealth, it doesn't matter. Oh, show shut wealth. your mouth. What did you know, Fred? Need I need to remind you that I have a reputation to protect? Great. So please sit down. Let me get you something to wear. At least you look good for today. I thought they said it was a man. World. Crazy, crazy, say yeah, yeah. I'm probably sure that's would be nice. I'll wait for you downstairs. This thought has been running through my mind all day. What does it have to be this way? Why does it have to be this way? I thought they said it was a man. All right, what's home? Wait! Hey. Fly! Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Boom. It's so good to see you. Sit here. You look wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> but I'm still mad at you. Why, though? Okay, first of all, you don't show up for my bachelorette night. And it oh. was supposed to be friends and family. Um, and then you don't show up for my wedding. I'm so sorry. It was just a bad timing for me. But hey, I'm making up to you. Uh-huh. You're going to pay me big time. I know. I know. <laughs> Wait. Oh, this one. Step aside. This oh. must be your fiance. Hi, how are you? Fine, thank you. Hi. Oh my goodness, you looked out, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm Tamara Demoso. How are you? Yes, made I'm fine, thank you. It's a pleasure. I love your dress. It's so <laughs> pretty. You. Where's Fred and my sister? Oh, she stepped upstairs. She, oh. she's, she had a discussion with Fred. She'll be right down. <laughs> hey, big sis. <laughs> you look good. You look wonderful. <laughs> You? You both know each other? Valerie! Valerie! Val! Val! What's going on? Look, I think you should take a seat for a second. Right. Are you okay? What's wrong? What was that drama downstairs all about? Because it was the same you that's been bugging me for months now to get married. And here I am with my fancy looking all young and, 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 and beautiful and, and, and hardworking. And all you did was run upstairs at the sight of her. Is there more to this than me the eyes? Tell me. Valerie, what can I make of what happened downstairs? What is it? Talk to me. You can't marry that lady. Oh, no, no, you gotta be kidding me, right? <laughs> Why? You cannot marry her. You said that the first time. Why can't I marry the woman I truly love? Walls as empty as the wings are better left unsaid. You cannot marry her. What kind of answer is that? What? What is it? I mean, she hasn't done anything wrong. It's like you can marry her. Why do you want? Why do you want? Why do you want me to walk in the dark? Your only brother. Why are you? Why are you hanging me in this place? I need to know the reason exactly why you think I cannot marry my girlfriend. Why? You will never understand. Oh, you don't right. I won't understand. You're damn so right. It was the same you that stood against me marrying my Jamaican girlfriend because of some black Caucasian bullshit. And now you want to ruin my relationship with Jasmine, my fiance? What have I done to you? What have I done to you? And how, how long, how long am I supposed to live my life for you? You, 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 Valerie. But you know what, big sis? Not again. Not again. Sly, are you sure you can stand the rain? I'm sure you guys can work this out. I, I, nothing is that. Up. Look, just take it easy.
called in and said, well, I'm about to ask you right now. I don't want to hear it from you. Just talk to me. I'm not going to judge you. Trust me. I promise I will understand. My sister's rejection of you speaks a lot more than the mouth can alter. She rejected me. Talk to me. Do you love me? Of course, yes, sorry. Wait, look. that the secret of our future lies in our past. What were you saying? I'm trying so hard to understand your poetry, but I can't. Why do you want me so dramatic today? Talk to me, I'm a man, I can handle anything. Look, Valerie, we're friends and all, but I can't support you in this. Telling your brother not to marry his fiance for no just cause? That's just not fair. I don't expect you to understand this. Oh, for God's sake, Valerie, come on, let us understand this. Suspense created by you. And I am not creating any suspense, so just shut your mouth down and listen. Hey, look, I deserve some explanation from you, Valerie. I'm still inferring my question. Will you shut up and sit down? Now listen to me. All I'm saying is that you cannot marry her. And that is fine! Why? Why? Because I don't look like wife material. I'm not allowed to marry her. Come on, Jasmine. The past may be forgotten, but the secret of the future still lies in the past. Oh. What? People hasten to judge so they can't be judged. And what exactly are you trying to make this look like? Did I just strike a chord? Now you listen to me, you must be very stupid. You see this war you were about to start? You won't be able to handle it. And where on earth did you even spring from? What a rhetoric question for you to be asked. Now you listen to me. Pick yourself and leave my house. Are you going to stop me? Jasmine, we need to talk. No. What I want to say, see it right here and right now. Um, Sly, look, I think you should let them have this conversation. I have a feeling the questions you have, you won't get the answers if they don't have this conversation. I don't know, but I just know if they don't talk, 
You're not gonna get your answers. I don't know what's going on. But it's the first time we're meeting, right? Sacramento is deeply rooted in secrets. Jasmine, do you know that you are at the verge of blowing everything out in the open? What are you doing here? Well, being deeply in love gives you strength. I love your brother so much. Why are you trying to truncate it? Are you sick? secret of an all can never be made known to the daylight. Why my only brother? Couldn't you have found some other man? Couldn't you? You know how am I going to pick who it is that I fall in love with? Is that possible? Are you sick? Are you sick? Jasmine, look at just take a look at me. Take a look at me, Jasmine. Childlessness is the negative phenomenon that one could hardly find the least of time to dwell in this merit. Look, and he has taken a toll on me. Why? Only brother. Tell me why. Tell me one reason why I should let my only brother suffer with that fate in please, your hands. Please, please. You know, it is very interesting, this seemingly right judgment of yours. Aren't you married? Huh? Don't you have a husband? What, isn't he someone else's son? Or he just cropped up from oblivion. You loved him, that's why you married him. I love your brother, let oh, me Oh, shut up. Jasmine, you are wicked. Now listen, now listen very good. I want you to back off. That is my only brother. I'd rather die than to leave my Father, so father, some faith in your hands. Never. Over my dead body. Never. Never. Ever. Consider the battle line drawn. We shall see. This thought has been running through my mind all day Why does it have to be this way? Why does it have to be this way? I thought they said it was a man's world Crazy, crazy say yeah, yeah Oh, I'm in pain Am I dreaming? Am I dreaming or am I in a dazed, subconscious so state? Did Father lead me to walk in the dark and I did not have any clue whatsoever? No. No. This is not happening. This is not happening, but my heart is pumping into it. But 
I am trying so hard not to meditate on this thought, but I can't help it. What is going on? Could this be a conspiracy of silence between her and Dr. Ernest? Hmm? No. The Dr. Ernest I know cannot renege on his principles and code of medical ethics. No. But what if he was paid? Just what if he was paid to do this? What does it have to be this way? Ah. What does it have to be? <laughs> I thought they said it was a man. Love can hurt and stab you in the back just like trust. Yeah. Is a double edged sword. Oh, I'm in pain. What do I do? Oh, the shame. This is this is really funny. So after you chit chat upstairs, there's nothing to feed us with? Both of you? Jasmine! Can someone just say what is, what's going on here? Jasmine! Valerie. Did you lie to me? Excuse me? What are you doing? Well, don't, don't try to play smart with me. Do you hear me? I asked a question and I want answers. Did you lie to me? Fred, this has nothing to do with you. So you need to go back upstairs. You must really be out of here. Are you sick? Oh! Did you just hit me? Hey! Did, did you, you just... Did you... Did you... Did you... Did you... Did you... Did you lie to me? Start talking. So God, I'm going to slap you over and over again if you do not stop talking right now. Oh, I heard you. I heard you and I want the truth right now. I heard you, I heard you too. I heard you and your brother's fiance. Both of you were talking, God of you were talking about some, some cult, all right? Or, or some sisterhood and the loss of your womanhood. And I'm standing right in front of you right now. I'm asking you, am I sterile? You were supposed to be in the kitchen making dinner. Not flipping through pictures of beautiful kids when you can't even produce one. I can't still believe that that thing in between your tiles is just to decorate your trouser. You can't even get me pregnant. Please go fix dinner. So incorrigible. Please. What you think you can negotiate with me right now? Don't you dare patronize me. I've asked you a question and I want an answer right now, Valerie. I will snap your head off your neck if you don't start talking. Did you lie to me? Jasmine. 
tell me what, what is going on here. Well, she has nothing to say to you, you hear me? You see, these two Jezebels sold their soul to the devil. I heard them talking <laughs> upstairs. I don't know! Please! 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 Stop it! You! What is wrong with you? You made me live my life thinking that I was the problem. Right? I'm afraid. You, you got it all wrong. I got it all wrong? Yes, you, you, you didn't hear anything. It's not what you think. Oh, what? Speak out! What is wrong with you? Stop! Calm down. Calm down, everyone. What is going on here? Speak out! I'll talk. We. 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 We gave. We. We gave our woman exchange for wealth to a sorority called Temple of Sacramento. Years ago, we, we slept with the shed of the, the master of the shed for 16 weeks for the desired effect. What? what? Baby? Baby, I'm sorry. Please, I'm, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is, this is beyond me. I, Please, Frank. Please. Please. Sorry. Give me a drink. Please. Please, Frank. Please. Please forgive me. Please. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. of secrets huh? that binds her in chains of suffocation in her own prison of insecurities. One needs to be wary of where people achieve their wealth. So the extravagant lifestyle, all the luxury cars, the houses at Mandela Estate, and the rest of the properties spread across. They're all Grecian gifts and a direct share from the devil himself. I feel pains right now. No, pain doesn't want to come right now. I, I feel betrayed. But why, Jasmine? I was gonna tell. When? When? After the wedding? Or better still, after like six years without a baby? Or better still, after our funeral? You lied to me. I asked you if you loved me, but you looked me right in the face and you lied to me. The winds of destiny blows when you least expect it. It's why you don't know my story. Well, you know what? It's okay. Blame me. Put it all on me. Oh, come on, don't give me that Destiny bullshit, blah, blah, blah. Listen. Destiny is then given in retrospect to the choices of your consequences. 
Are you such a hurry to lift up a ladder in, in limbs and bounds? Huh? Stop judging me, Sly. Stop judging me! All I did, I did when I was... I had the biggest battle in my life! And, and the throes of life was just so unbearable for me to think! Judging you? I'm not gonna judge you! I don't have the time to do that. And of course I know that marriages is not about having babies, it's about companionship and all that, but having to trade your womb in exchange for money was a step too far! How could you be so rational? Huh? It's like when you lose your parents, when you lose your parents at such a tender age, you don't have any option! You don't have any option but to battle out your, your predetermined fate! And yes, it's killing me now. But I saw hunger. I saw hunger as much as I could. And I suffered. I suffered so much in life. Enough was enough. I saw a golden opportunity and I took it. Hey, 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 hold on, hold on right there. So you mean to tell me that I Having a deal with the devil with your womb in exchange for money is what you tame as golden opportunity? Really? Huh? It's clear now. All of this is clear. I mean, all the G-Wagons and the, and the Range Rover Sporting. And of course, the, all the exotic houses in those, the choice areas in Lagos is, is, is what you have to trade with your occultic sisterhood in exchange for your womb. And you know the painful part? You know the part that hurts me the most? You see that? Here I am, Sly. Here I am thinking that... <laughs> here I am thinking that I found someone that I can actually be with. Someone that <laughs> I can raise a family with. Someone I, I can love. Someone I can... I can cherish. Someone I can love. But you had your plans. You had your plans, you had your plans to subject me to a life of sorrow. You, you single-handedly orchestrated my downfall. Oh, because I loved you. You would make me the laughing stock of everybody. Right, Jasmine? <laughs> you know what? You know what, right? Choices we make, whether good or bad, follows us forever. And guess what? And guess what it does to you? It affects everyone on your path, including me. Of course, I know growing up was not a, was not fun. It was it was rough and tough. But having to go all the way to exchanging your womb for money? That's evil. God. I know it was a critical decision for me to take. It was a critical decision for me to take, Slay. <laughs> And your disappointment in me is justifying your ratification. But you need to understand that I need to do, I did what I did for you. For who? It's like I did for you and I. How? 
What were you expecting from me? Watch you and I die in abject poverty? Please. I needed to save us. And that was the reason why I took those step just for you. What? I cannot do this for don't, don't give me that nonsense. Don't, don't even try that. <laughs> Who are you now? Sacrifice your lap? Sacrificing your life for your only brother? You know what? Looking back in retrospect, I'm thinking to myself, did we both come up from the same womb? Because such evil cannot come out of my mother's womb. No! It's not possible! <laughs> it's like you are hurting me. It's like you are hurting me. You are really hurting me. Tell me! Is this what I get? Is this what I get by standing by you all those years? Really? It's not everything I did, I did for you. Not for you! I wanted you to be a better person! You did it for yourself! Not for me! No! No, 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 And guess what? If you allowed me to get married to my Jamaican girlfriend, I wouldn't be here to witness all this embarrassing fiasco, would I? Because you're so selfish! You did everything for yourself! And that this cruel. How? 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 <laughs> It's like you were hurting me. I don't do more of that. I did all this for you. No! What were you expecting? Did you know what I went through? I don't care. You were care because you were not there. Yeah, I don't want to be there. I don't want to be in your shoes right now. Your shoe hurts. This fit hurts. I can't be in your shoes. You're evil. Come on. Is this how you pay me back? Pay me? You were supposed to support me. In evil? You were my only brother, <laughs> Sly. This is not what I expected from you! Oh, I, I should, this is not what I expected from you, Sly! I, I should worship you? I'm not saying you should worship me, but I did everything for us. <laughs> I wanted you to have a better life! Do you know how many men that took advantage of me? No, that's Just a, because I want... Sly, you... That's you are a, wicked! That is the point, right? You did everything for you, you, you! You! You, Valerie! <laughs> I wish I could strangle you right now. I wish I could. Fuck! Hell! Money! Money and fame! Money, money, money! That's all that matters to you! Money! Right? Hey, the money! You've got money, right? You've got everything you want, you've got the cars, you've got, you've, got, you've got the mansions, you've got the business deals. Go ahead! Get it! And kill yourself! No. You were the only thing that I wanted. You know what? Just shut up. It's like no. Just shut up! Don't talk to me again. I will live my life for you. I wanted you to be a better person. I wanted you to be a man. And sacrificing my woman is the least thing I could do for you to be happy. All I expected you to do is to stand by me right now. Shut up! You're evil! <laughs> Sit down right now with Tell in his grave knowing what you've done! No! You know nothing. This woman here subjected me to just think. You. Where do I start from? I feel used. <laughs> I feel unappreciated. I feel taking advantage of. I feel like an underdog in this whole marriage setup. This daughter of Jezebel here from the pit of hell connived with the family doctors to hit the blame on me to make me think that it is my fault. That I couldn't father a child. What? You. What? You turned and tossed me around. You got some money. 
Valerie? Because of money. I'm going to leave the rest of the insults and derogatory remarks to your imagination. Or was it the fact that this woman here used sex as a tool to control me? Well, that's how she almost turned me into a eunuch. Valerie. I came into your life and you turned me to your stooge. I bore the burden of guilt just to make this marriage work. And what did you do? You turn around and you spit in my face. Take your fitting hands off me. Why? What is it? What have I done? Now come on, please. Take your fitting hands off me. Tell me. Why are you doing this to me? Do me not. I'm your husband. Why are you denying me the right to your body? Oh, shut your mouth. What stupid right are you talking about? Anyway? Friend, I am tired. I am tired of you touching my body. Why would I want to engage in something that will never heal any foot? I advise you go into the toilet and use soap or lubricant. Excuse me. Don't touch me. I say don't touch me. I don't even cheat. today. I'm not here to sell orange today. Oh. And what are you here for? I am here to see Oga. Which Oga? This Oga. And what for? Speak! I Speak! What is it? I am pregnant. Look, young lady, this isn't the right time. If you don't have anything to say, now leave. Did you understand what she said? Fred! <laughs> Fred! What did you say? I am pregnant. For who? For you. Huh. Thank you. Thank you. I'm <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am finished. Thank you. Ah. Good evening, sir. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Good evening. Ah, correct. <laughs> ah, you ready? <laughs> you came? Yes, sir. I, I want to give fruit to madam. She's not around. Eh, uh, you know, madam is, uh, madam is not around, but I'm around. Uh, okay. Uh, I like your help. Thank you. You ready? Ah, uh, you ready? It's been a long time I saw you. Uh, come now, uh, eh? I like to see your dress that you're wearing today. Come, what is wrong with you? Eh? Why are you being shy? 
<laughs> okay, give me one. Let me help you. Hold. So you won't be having you. Uh, mm -hmm. You help me drop it in the kitchen, Abby. Okay. Uh, okay. Just, just go like this. Okay. Yeah. Good. Now, what is wrong with you? Hmm? Don't worry. Uh, cable is on. You watch. And you have all the reasons to be upset. I also know that some mistakes have greater consequences than the others. But please, I beg you, do not succumb to the temptation of your bitterness. Yes, she is my sister. I'm supposed to be there for her, but what she did was wrong, and being wrong is wrong. Please, I you beg know you. how I feel. I feel used. I feel despised. I feel taken for granted. How I have constantly, all the years, prayed, labored, and struggled to please your sister. How cruelly she has trampled on my love, scorned my tears and dreams, betrayed my trust, destroyed this marriage, and took away from me my best chance at being a father, and subjected me to a life of misery. And you stand there and talk to me about happiness. It's like if you were wearing my shoes right now, would you look away and not opt out of the charade called marriage? Fred, I understand what you're saying totally. I'd probably do worse if I was in your shoes, but what I'm asking for right now is forgiveness. Please, Fred. I would have forgiven your sister's pride if she hadn't mortified mine. I have a child coming. So I am consoled by that. But I pray that your sister finds mercy in the sight of God. Fred, Fred, Fred. Collect that's uh, my remaining balance. Even school. Auntie, I know what yes to be. I say I call to collect my remaining balance of the money. Even. It's not today. Please, Auntie, now. Auntie, she... make I a no you. change. Make a no change labor for you. My male, go for hospital. Our house roof they leak. Now which kind of story you call the talk now? I say I call to collect that remaining seven hundred thousand. When I'm born, you feel give me the remaining 1.5. Wait, who are you and what do you want? Auntie, I greet. My name, Na Ivie Omonigo. First daughter of James Omonigo, member for Delta Steel for 45 years. And I just my money I got to collect from this, my father, Auntie. You owe her money? What business do you have heard?
Hi, madam. You must be in your relation period now. Madam, yes. And are you sure you can do this job? Madam, I don't tell you. Me. Evie. Okay, Piki. Madam, I beg. Rest. No shakings, madam. Rest. Okay. Well, I have made a, a reservation for you at Top Hill Hotel for three weeks. The guys will be coming in there tomorrow. And you know what to do? Madam, I don't tell you. I say make you rest. And you also know you have to get back to me. Madam, I say no fast. Well, I'll be giving you 300,000 Naira now. And there will be another 700 when you're pregnant. Then the 1.5 will be given to you. Madam, I make a deal call you correct, madam. Well done, Valerie. Well done. Oh, your machinations were well orchestrated. Well done. So you paid the money to a stranger to have a child for you behind my back. How evil can you be? But I tell you this, everything that was born in the dark definitely would come to light someday. Oh, so you want a child? So you hunger for a child? Huh? That will inherit your business. That will inherit your multi-million dollar corporation. And what about me? I would just walk away empty-handed. After everything I have given. I have invested my time, my years, my emotions. And I'm supposed to just walk away. But you see, God, God will always be God. I thank God today because today my escape has become my freedom. I'm walking away for good, Valerie. My family would contact you to come and take back the bride prize and then we put an end to this charade. I wish you luck. Take me as I am, that's Stop what you should <laughs> Now I'm leaving you, I'm so glad my I feel the beast for what I have done. I could have allowed Sly marry his Jamaican girlfriend. And all those chains of reaction wouldn't have cropped up what is left of me now. If not the strive into river and drown myself. Everyone now knows my source of wealth. Fred. Mara and Sly, my only brother. All I did was to surveil the chain of my independence. I knew I wanted financial freedom. I regret my choices, for I now know what the future holds. Indeed, nothing is hidden under the sun. Uh, <laughs> Job 
Pops will snitch on you even from beyond the grave. I can't deal with the shame. I can't deal with the shame. No. Never. I can't deal with the shame. No. Never. Never. I'll go check. I go find Nancy. That brother yours come up for here. What those English way they speak for here? Me, I not catch anyone. No. Go home. Ah. Do you understand me? Go here. Now who go still pay me my money?
take me as I am, that's what you should have done. Now I'm leaving you, I'm so glad for my decision. The sadness that you gave me has just turned into happiness. So now 